Okay, folks, so one question that's come up a lot is how do you embed a poll in Google Slides? And I think there are a lot of ways to do it. Some of them are a lot more complicated than others. I looked into Nearpod, which is one option for embedding polls. There's a free version of Nearpod that allows you to work with polls. I looked at a Google Chrome extension that allows you to put in a poll where students can text their response to you and it all gets tallied that way. Um, but both of those I feel like really would take quite a bit of setup and a lot of work when you're busy with other things. And I feel like just having a slide template that was really simple for you would be a lot easier. So I'm gonna include a link in this blog post to all these templates if you wanna use any of them. I have set these up and it's a really simple way of doing a poll. It's just a drag and drop. So what I did here was I created a background in Canva. And if you've been following along with my tutorials, you know that is something I do all the time for Google Slides. So what I do is I make the size of my design in Canva match the size of my design in Google Slides, which is for me basically always eight and a half by 11 because I like it to be a printable size in case I want to use it later when I'm designing curriculum to print. Um, but for now, it's just online. So I created this little kind of blue background that says take the poll across the top. And so that can't be moved. If a student clicks on this, oh, nothing happens. Um, but then down here, I added on this overlay of text so that I can change it. I can grab this slide, put it into any presentation, um, and I can write down my polling options. I could just have two, I could delete the bottom two, I could use all four. Um, and then I put, I just grabbed a transparent smiley face <laughs> and put a bunch of them across the bottom. And if you have more students, you can add more smiley faces or you can do little stars or whatever. And you just insert this in where you wanna pull your students and you just let them drag it. So let's let's look at an example. So let's say you're just quickly polling students on Wednesday as part of their um, work for the day on what book that they would like you to read for first chapter Friday on Friday. So you put in my first chapter Friday vote goes to a long way down. My first chapter Friday vote goes to the Podex, the hit you give. Darius the Great is not okay. And you wanna know what your students would most like to hear. All they do is just grab their little smiley face and move it up to whatever row they prefer. Um, this is low tech, you guys, right? <laughs> this isn't super fancy. You don't have to embed it. You just get a bunch of little smiley faces. In fact, you can just use these smiley faces because again, I'm gonna give you the link to make a copy of these templates. Now, um, Theoretically, you never have to design one of these polls again because you can just embed this in wherever you're going to use it. But if you're doing like a different size show, you're doing a horizontal show, or you just want to create your own design, you can create in Canva and do an overlay like me and add some smiley faces, or you can just create right in Google Slides. You don't have to have a fancy background. You can just take some colorful text and grab some kind of a shape that students can drag and drop. Um, you want to have the shapes be individual so that it's easy for them to grab one and move it, right? So that is an easy, low-tech way to do a poll and find out how your students are feeling about things um, without dealing with extensions or add-ons or external programs. And I hope that will be helpful to you. Mm -hmm.